high deductible health care plans and health savings accounts. We've all heard about them, we've all wondered what they really are, and why anyone would want to change from a traditional health plan. But with health costs skyrocketing and experiencing double-digit cost increases every year for the past five years, something has to change. Well, there is a new way to help combat those costs, help you to take a more active role in saving for medical expenses, and ultimately to help save for retirement. With the new type of plan I'm going to show you, you're going to see how you can pay the insurance company less in premiums, earn interest tax deferred, and have the ability to know the absolute maximum you will spend on covered medical bills in any given year with no nasty surprises, only peace of mind. Sounds pretty good, but what is it really about? I'm going to go over this new plan and we'll make sure that by the time you finish watching, you'll not only know what you need to know about joining a qualified high deductible health plan with a health savings account, but also that you can make a truly informed decision on whether it's best for you and your family. What is a qualified high deductible health plan? An HDHP is a medical plan that has a minimum deductible. In addition, the plan cannot have any copays. For example, a copay for a physician visit or a prescription drug copay. If these criteria are met, then the plan is eligible for a health savings account to be opened by the plan member. An HDHP has four main components. The first one is preventative care. Preventative care consists of physicals, adult exams, preventative lab work, preventative radiology, childhood immunizations, well woman exams, routine pap smears, and mammograms. All of these things that keep you from getting sick in the first place fit into this category. Under an HDHP, the insurance carrier pays 100% of preventative care. These visits are not subject to your deductible or your out-of-pocket maximum expense, so you have no excuses to get those yearly physicals and stay healthy. The second component is your annual deductible. Your annual deductible is the amount you pay out-of-pocket before your health insurance coverage begins. Remember, preventative care is not subject to your deductible. The high deductible health plan is exactly what the name states. The deductible is higher with this type of plan than with a traditional plan. But as we said earlier, that is exactly how we keep your premiums low. Since the deductible is higher and the copays are no longer available, the IRS has created a funding vehicle to help you pay for the higher deductible. It's called a health savings account. Your health savings account is an individual account created exclusively for you that allows you to save a portion of your paycheck pre-tax to pay for your deductible fees and other qualifying medical expenses. You can use the funds in your health savings account for eyeglasses, contact lenses, contact lens solution, braces for your kids, and many other types of expenses. Some of you may remember an account called the Flexible Spending Account, or FSA. Flexible spending accounts were a predecessor to the HSA. When the FSA first came out, it was a use it or lose it benefit. You specified a certain amount of money to be direct deposited into the account each paycheck. And if you didn't use it up at the end of the year, you lost it. Here is the wonderful thing about the health savings account. You don't lose the money you put in. The money rolls over every single year and you will never lose the money you or your employer contributes. There is no maximum to how much you can accumulate into this account. The fourth component is your health coverage. Your health coverage has built-in protection to keep the doctors and hospitals accountable for costs. If you see a network provider, you still get the discounted rates that your health coverage carrier has negotiated for you. Under traditional health coverage, you had copays. You would pay a copay to see your regular doctor and another copay for every single prescription you had filled. And under most traditional health coverage, None of these copays would apply to your maximum out-of-pocket expenses. So you had no idea going into each year what your worst case scenario would be. You could spend thousands of dollars in copays alone. Here's the amazing thing about high deductible health plan with a health savings account. All of your covered medical costs apply to your maximum out-of-pocket expenses. Plans can be designed to have your annual deductible and your out-of-pocket maximum be exactly the same. So every single year, you know exactly what your worst case scenario is. How amazing is that? So no matter what stage of life you're in, whether you're a young couple starting a family and saving for a house, or getting ready to send two kids to college, or saving as much as possible for retirement, you can budget for your medical expenses easily and accurately. You don't have to lose sleep at night about how you would pay for major medical expenses if something were to happen. How will this benefit me? Let's look at some of the numbers and how what we have discussed so far applies to you. 
If you take a look at your company and its employees, roughly 55% of them will have less than $500 a year in medical expenses, including preventative care. So if you are one of these people, why continue to pay increasing costs for your health coverage? It's not like the insurance company is going to offer you a refund if you don't use the plan. With an HSA, you can pay yourself. And if you don't use the funds at year's end, then you can use them next year. Okay, but what if you're sick a little more often? Let's say you have asthma or high blood pressure, and you know you will need medications for these problems for the rest of your life. Well, with a high deductible health plan, you know exactly how much you will spend every year for covered expenses under your health plan. You won't have to dip into your retirement savings to pay for an unexpected stay in the hospital. This plan can work for anyone, and keep in mind the money you are putting into your HSA is pre-tax. And while your money is in the account, it is earning interest and building for future health care expenses and for retirement. Your HSA is eligible to receive a fixed rate of interest. But once your account reaches a certain level, you have the option to diversify a portion of the funds into interest-sensitive investments. That is completely optional and up to you. Sometimes there are nominal fees as with any type of bank account, usually a few dollars. Okay, so how do you fund your HSA? There are two ways. The first way is through your employer. Some employers choose to help fund this account, and this will vary depending on your employer. If your employer does help fund your HSA, the money will be directly deposited into your account. The second way to fund your account is a direct deposit from your paycheck. These will also automatically be put into your account, and you won't have to pay taxes on the money. You can use the funds in your HSA to pay for prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, exams and tests, dental, vision, COBRA premiums, long-term care premiums, premiums while on unemployment, retiree health insurance premiums, and more. The IRS has rules and regulations regarding HSAs, so let's go over those now. Some people are not eligible to participate in an HSA. If you are also enrolled in a non-high deductible health plan through your spouse or another source, you do not qualify for an HSA. Your qualified HDHP must be your sole coverage. Also, if you are enrolled in Medicare, you cannot participate. If an eligible dependent is enrolled in Medicare, then you can participate in an HSA. If you can be claimed on somebody else's taxes as a dependent, you cannot make contributions to an HSA. You cannot maintain an FSA and an HSA at the same time for medical expenses. You have to decide on one or the other. And lastly, if you are an employee who has already made maximum contributions to an HSA in the same plan year, you do not qualify. Since the money you put into an HSA is pre-taxed and deferring taxes on interest, the IRS has rules about taking money out. If you misuse your HSA and pull out money for unqualified medical expenses, the IRS will penalize you. If you decide to take some money out for a cruise and the IRS finds out through an audit, you will have to pay 10% excise tax and also income taxes on the money you put in and on the interest it earned. Nobody will ever stop you from taking money out of your HSA and no paperwork needs to be submitted to acquire your funds. It's your money in your account, but if the IRS notices that you took out $3,000, they can ask you to prove what medical expenses you spent that $3,000 on. So always save your receipts. That way, if you do get audited, you can prove where the money went. After you are 65 years old, the rules change a little. After age 65, you can pull the money out for any reason. You will not have any IRS penalties or 10% excise tax. However, you will get taxed at that point in time. By the time you get taxed, you will have had years of tax deferment and will have been earning interest on the account. Your HSA is both flexible and portable. You can reimburse yourself immediately every time you spend $5 on Tylenol, or you can save all of your receipts in a shoebox for 25 years, let your money earn interest, and then pay yourself back all in one big lump sum. You have ultimate control on every penny in the account. Even if you change jobs and go to another company, your account goes with you. If your new company has the option of a qualified high deductible health care plan with an HSA, you just continue on as you have. If your new company only has traditional health care plans, you simply cannot put any more money into your HSA. However, you can pull money out of it to pay for copays, prescription drugs, and other qualifying expenses. Let's say you choose a high deductible health care plan with an HSA this year, but next year you decide to go back to a traditional plan. 
You can simply use the money in your HSA for your co-pays, prescriptions, over-the-counter medications, and any other qualified expenses. The money never goes away, and as long as it's being used for qualifying expenses, will never be taxed nor have penalties. But you cannot make any new contributions unless you become enrolled in another high deductible health plan. Okay, so what if you quit or lose your position? The same thing. You can continue to invest the money in the account or withdraw it for qualifying expenses, but you cannot make any new contributions unless you become enrolled in another high deductible health plan. So when it all comes down to it and you actually go to see your doctor, how does it work? Well, it's pretty easy. You simply make your appointment, go see your doctor, and then you show them your health insurance ID card. You don't have to pay anything at the time of service. You will then get an explanation of benefits in the mail. Sometimes you may get an initial bill from your provider before you get your explanation of benefits. Wait until you get your explanation of benefits because it will explain what the insurance paid and what you actually owe, so you can pay the correct amount. Once you get the correct amount due, you can send a check, pay cash, or use the debit card that comes with your health savings account and pay them directly from the account, or you can set up a payment plan. Now paying for your prescriptions works a little differently. When you get to the pharmacy, you simply show your insurance card. The pharmacist will enter your insurance information into the computer and will give you the negotiated discounted price. You then pay using your HSA debit card. The whole process is very simple and easy to get used to. Let's face it. Traditional health insurance premiums are not going to get cheaper and are going up drastically every year. Why keep throwing money away on high premiums and copays that never end? Begin this year with a new plan that will give you peace of mind, power over your own health care costs, and a pre-tax savings account that will be there when you need it.